Hello, I'm Nikki. Welcome to Off Grid Style. Let's get started. The top 10 rules for preppers. Whether you are new to prepping or you're a seasoned pro, there are certain aspects of prepping that should always be your top priorities. In this video, we'll go over the top 10 rules every prepper should live by and briefly discuss why each of these rules is so important. Remember, reviewing these rules on a regular basis is just as important as to keeping your preparations on track as the act of prepping itself. Assess and identify risks. The first rule of preparedness is to conduct a thorough assessment of potential risks and hazards specific to your geographical location, your environment, and your personal circumstances. Identify potential threats like natural disasters, pandemics, economic instability, civil unrest, or power outages. Understanding the risks allows preppers to prioritize their preparations and tailor their plans accordingly to address the most probable scenarios effectively. By prioritizing your preparations based on your assessment, your chances of survival rise considerably. Develop a comprehensive plan. A well-defined and comprehensive emergency plan serves as the cornerstone of preparedness. Preppers should develop a detailed plan that outlines procedures, protocols, and contingencies for various emergency scenarios. The plan should encompass evacuation routes, communication strategies, rendezvous points, and provisions for food, water, shelter, and medical care. Regularly review and update the plan to adapt to changing circumstances and ensure its effectiveness. Stockpile essential supplies. Stockpiling essential supplies is obviously essential for sustaining oneself and loved ones during periods of disruption or isolation. Preppers should assemble an emergency supply kit that includes food, water, medical supplies, tools, and other essential items. Prioritize long-lasting and shelf-stable foods, water purification methods, first aid supplies, and items for shelter, warmth, and self-defense. Maintain an adequate supply of provisions to sustain you through extended periods of uncertainty. Acquire necessary skills and knowledge. In addition to physical resources, acquiring essential skills and knowledge is paramount for survival in emergency situations. Preppers should invest time and effort in learning practical skills like first aid, navigation, fire making, shelter building, self-defense, and basic survival techniques. Familiarize yourself with local geography, landmarks, and potential hazards to enhance your ability to adapt and respond effectively in crisis situations. Maintain physical fitness and health. Physical fitness and health are integral components of preparedness and resilience. Preppers should prioritize maintaining good physical health through regular exercise, proper nutrition, and adequate rest. Physical fitness enhances endurance, strength, and agility, enabling individuals to cope with the physical demands of survival situations. Additionally, Prioritize mental health and emotional resilience through stress management techniques, mindfulness practices, and social support networks. Establish security measures. Security is also paramount in uncertain times, and preppers should take proactive measures to safeguard themselves and their belongings. Secure your home and your property against potential threats by reinforcing doors and windows, installing security systems, and establishing communication and warning systems. Consider implementing perimeter defenses, like fences or barriers, and developing contingency plans for self-defense and protection. Additionally, reinforce the inside of your home as well. Whether you're in an apartment or the country, 
reinforcing and placing alarms, even homemade ones, on your doors and windows will give you more time to react to any potential threat. Foster community and collaboration. Collaboration and community are essential aspects of preparedness, as collective efforts can enhance resilience and resourcefulness in times of crisis. Preppers should cultivate relationships with like-minded individuals, with neighbors, and community organizations to share resources, information, and support. Establish mutual aid networks, neighborhood watch groups, or community resilience initiatives to collaborate on preparedness efforts and respond effectively to emergencies. Stay informed and adaptive. Knowledge is power in emergency situations, and preppers should stay informed about current events, developments, and potential threats. Monitor reliable sources of information like news outlets, government agencies, and community alerts to stay abreast of evolving situations and emerging risks. Maintain flexibility and adaptability in your plans and preparations as circumstances may change rapidly, requiring adjustments and modifications to your approach. Practice operational security or OPSEC. Operational security is crucial for maintaining confidentiality and discretion in preparedness activities. Preppers should exercise caution when discussing their plans, their resources, and their capabilities to avoid drawing unwanted attention or compromising their security. Practice discretion in sharing sensitive information, both online and offline, and avoid disclosing details that could jeopardize your safety or operational security. This can include not discussing detailed information with friends and family members that are not in your circle of trust. They may mention your plans to others. Also, be careful if you have small children as well. They may inadvertently reveal information they don't realize is not something you want known. Remain hopeful and resilient. In the face of adversity, maintaining a positive outlook and a resilient mindset is paramount. Preppers should cultivate a sense of hope, optimism, and determination to overcome challenges and persevere through difficult times. Focus on building emotional resilience, adaptability, and problem-solving skills to navigate uncertainty and adversity with confidence and fortitude. Well, as always, I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also, check out this video chosen just by YouTube for you to watch. Thanks.